Now, something else that uh, came up in yesterday's video was the location of the image of Project Sassy, the yacht that was destroyed by fire whilst being constructed by Lerson in 2018. Now, I said that the, the, um, the yacht was in Bremen Vegesack when the fire occurred, and yet the photograph shows clearly the yacht is in the Blomen Voss facility in Hamburg, which is now owned by Lerson. Now, I say clearly because you can see Blomen Voss written on the door, right, of the dry dock facility. Um, now, the information in the video was correct. The fire did occur whilst the yacht was under construction in a floating dry dock in Bremen Vegesack. However, after the fire, the remains of that yacht were transported to Lersen in Hamburg, the Blum and Voss dry dock. And in 20, that was in 2019, I believe, or end of 2018, beginning of 2019. And then 2021, the completed hull was then taken out of that dry dock and then returned to Bremen in a, a newly constructed floating dry dock. Uh, and that went back to Bremen for completion. The transported hull uh, became Moti Yacht Opera, as I said in the previous video. Anyway, whenever we cover fires, either on board yachts or at shipyards, there's lots of comments about the lack of firefighting equipment in both of these locations. However, it should be noted that any yard in Europe would be required to have adequate firefighting equipment installed, you know, sprinklers, etc. Um, especially where there's lots of people working in a yard. Now, it's possible, however, that a fire, if, if uh, hot enough and strong enough with enough uh, flammable equipment, that the, uh, the systems in that shed might not be uh, able to put out that fire. That does happen. Um, you know, what, you have the fire triangle, the heat, the fuel and the air. And when all of those things are in, uh, you know, when there's a lot of all of those things, you have a big fire. So it's possible to have all of those re regulatory uh, equipment in place. And yet the factory is not able to extinguish the fire equipment in that factory is not able to extinguish it. So that's probably, well, that looks like what's happened here, right? So if we take away the building and we talk about a yacht that's completed and it's, you know, it's fully crewed and everything, then the firefighting systems on board are based largely to the codes that the vessel was built to. You know, the smaller the yacht, the less firefighting equipment will be on, installed on board. Now, we often talk about the class of yacht, you know, how many guests are allowed on board, whether it's under 500 gross tons or under 300 gross tons. And these are built, these are classes uh, when they go over 3,000 gross tons, for instance, or when they go over 12 guests, then the, the level of safety equipment is increased exponentially. And that's why you see a lot of these limits in place. If we look at any yacht over, say, 500 gross tons, I, I say probably a lot of them under 500 gross tons will have good firefighting equipment, but certainly over that, they will have very good systems on board. Now, we've got a video coming next week. Uh, we did a, we've, we've done, just done a yacht tour. And we, we looked at some of the firefighting equipment on board that yacht. So we're going to go through that in that video. So look out for that next week. Thanks very much for watching this video. You've been watching a Super Yacht News clip. If you'd like to see the full unedited Super Yacht News video, you can click on the link over here. You can also find our channel links below here. And if you'd like to see more shorter videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel.